What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Raps baseball video. And today we are going to continue with our Japanese theme. And uh, we're going back to Japan to open up uh, something new. And it is called Epic. And Epic is um, a different company than what we were opening before, which was uh, BBM. So these cards are going to look a little bit different. And uh, we're going to do this particular box break in segments again. Uh, this particular box has, uh, I, look, I believe it's 12 cards to a pack, and there's 24 car packs to a box. So this is what we're going to, uh, to break this evening. And so without further ado, our first look at the, uh, at the box and, and certainly the inside. So as you can see on the side, there's Epic 2020 MPB baseball cards. On the side, it gives you the uh, odds of what you can get uh, in the box, in the pack. And obviously, the only one that I can recognize is the gem. I haven't done my, um, my reading, but it looks like it's one in every 36 packs and, and so on and so forth. On the back side, uh, there's some more uh, information, of course, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the um, NPB teams. On this side here, of course, the logos. And on the back, this is where they provide a checklist of the set. And, of course, there's a gem and all these other inserts that are over here. And, of course, the base set. And the base set uh, that Epic produces, unlike the base set the, that um, BBM produces, um, it's a much larger set. Uh, BBM does two versions, version 1 and version 2. And Epic just produces one version. They also do the team sets or the individual teams, much like how our friends at um, our friends at BBM do as well. And so when we open the box, uh, there are our packs. And so if I flip down into the box, and I think I missed one at the bottom. We've got one at the bottom here. So on half of the box, I got three, six, nine, twelve. And today we we're gonna open four packs today. We're gonna only open four because what our plan is is we're gonna do uh, six of these videos over the next six days. And um, yeah, so we're gonna take our time with these. You get uh, the twelve packs in the box. So here we go. Pack number one is up and ready to go. And we're gonna find out if these packs are any easier to open than the BBMs, and if they are, then certainly I don't have to go and get my scissors for this video, but as it would appear, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to break into these, very similar as I had to break into the <laughs> break into the BBM ones, and so unfortunately, uh, here come a pair of scissors to go with this, so we'll see how this is gonna work out. All right, pack number one ready to go. Holy smokes. All right, let's see what we've got. Good news is, even with the scissors on the last break, I was starting to uh, do a much better job of getting into the packs than the one before. So here we go, pack number one. Let's get this thing out of the way. And right out of the gate, we start off with a Daiki uh, Mochizuki from the Nippon Ham Fighters, a rookie card. I'm not familiar with him. Uh, we have a Ryusi Sato of the Cebu Lions, an infielder. Next up, we have Jinjuro uh, Sumatani from the Yamuri Giants, catcher. This is the first time we've seen him. I don't remember seeing this fellow in the um, in the uh, in the Hiroshima cart break that we did. But there's uh, Hieronimo uh, Franzua, and he is pitching right now with the big club. He's got a couple of games already under his belt at the NPB level this year. Uh, there's uh, Masayuki Kuahara for the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. And uh, then we've got something here, and you can see it's a little bit different. So I wonder if this is a numbered card or an insert card or a parallel card, because this has a little bit different look. And this is Takayuki uh, Kishi for the Rakuten Eagles. So if I flip it over on the back side, is there anything special about this card? No, number 75, but he does have uh, certainly a different look than uh, than what we've had before, and I'm going to take a peek and see if that's if that's anything that's different. Uh, Ryota uh, Muranishi, uh, the rookie pitcher for the Oryx Buffaloes. Whoops, there he goes, making a quick exit, making a run for it. Naoki Sato, another rookie card for the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. Uh, Yoshihiro Tanaka, uh, pitcher for the Chiba Lote Marines. 
Uh, and this is this is the, always the problem. They whatever you want to call it, the inverted W. He's at foot strike, and his elbow is in this position here. That probably means he's going to flip and push the pitch. Uh, his timing isn't very good. That means that he is a candidate for some sort of surgery, maybe shoulder, maybe elbow. Uh, more than likely shoulder issues. Zolio Almonte. Zolio Almonte uh, with the Chinichi Dragons, who... Um, Zolio Almonte uh, has had some decent years in the NPB, but uh, injuries has started to catch up to this player. And um, he's, uh, for an import guy, being a part-time guy, uh, he's not playing uh, like he should be. So got a lot of money in him, uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully he has a decent season this year. Uh, but I think he's getting near the end of his career. And there's the manager of the Hanshin Tigers, Akiro Iyano. And uh, for New York Mets uh, fans out there, they'll remember Nori Aoki. Um, but he also had uh, some time with a few other teams. I, I think at the end of his career with the Blue Jays, and he was with Houston. And then we're back to the top again for Daiki uh, Mochizuki. So there's our first 12 out of the way. If I had to pick my best card, uh, probably the one that's uh, most notable out of the group that most people would know in North America is Nori Aoki, longtime New York Met. All right, here comes our second pack. Obviously, we're looking for autographs or relics, anything that uh, we can do. I was looking online in that, uh, the, that uh, Shota Dobiashi card that we pulled, the autograph card that we pulled from the, uh, the, the Hiroshima carp. Uh, that retails at about the equivalent of about yeah, 50 bucks US. Uh, it's it's not, a bad, not a bad find. So there's Yuya Taniguchi for the Dapan Ham Fighters. Yuya Taniguchi. Um, Atsuki Muto. For the Rakuten Eagles, a rookie card. There's a lot of rookies so far that we've pulled. There's Hirokazu Sawarma, uh, sorry, uh, Sawamura. Uh, we've got uh, Ryuji Ichioka for the Hiroshima Toyo Carp. There's Alex Ramirez. Alex Ramirez, the Venezuelan manager of the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. And if you notice, there is a very strong Latin connection in Yokohama. Yokohama. And there's a silver foil card. So we have a silver foil card of Masanori Ishikawa for the Tokyo Yokult Swallows. Uh, insert, uh, silver foil insert, uh, F45 in the upper corner. So that's our first insert card. Um, not bad. Their insert cards I saw from a couple of years ago. I didn't do anything with Epic last year, but a couple of years ago they were they were interesting. I, I think I think BBM maybe has the edge on these guys. Koji Oshiro for the uh, Oryx Buffaloes. There's Alfredo uh, Despagne uh, for the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. I don't believe he's in their lineup right now, and I don't even know if he's rostered this year. And I think he is. I have to do a double check on this. But he's literally 5'9 and 220 pounds, and I think he's a solid package. Uh, has hit a number of home runs uh, in years past in the NPB. There's Brandon Laird. Brandon Laird, who um, probably was our, the second best uh, hitter in the, uh, for import players last week in the, uh, in the Pacific League. Uh, Brandon Laird, uh, young brother of Gerald Laird, longtime major leaguer, who is now with the Chibalote Marines, used to be with the... Uh, let's see, he was with the Rakuten Eagles, and I'm going to make the mistake there, but uh, Brandon Laird in his second season, I know for sure. Uh, Dice Case uh, Sobu uh, of the Chinichi Dragons, and we have uh, Fumihito Haraguchi for the Hanshin Tigers, Hiroki Inoue for the uh, Cebu Lions, and uh, back to the top of Yuya Taniguchi all over again, and we're back back around again. So one insert in two packs, one insert in two packs, and here comes pack number number three. Pack number three. Snap ourselves into this. Obviously looking for the autograph. Now, what rookies are we looking for? Well, right now there's a popular rookie, a pitcher for the um, for the Hiroshima Carp. And uh, we'll, we'll get into him when we find him. But uh, there's a pitcher, starting pitcher for the Carp. He's, I believe, their game three or game four starter um, who's been getting, some, getting a lot of love. Uh, Fumikazu Kamura from the Cebu Lions. Daichi Suzuki, wrong Suzuki. We're looking for Seiya Suzuki for the cart, but Daichi Suzuki, 
uh, infielder for the Rakuten Eagles. There is uh, Kiro Wakabayashi, and if I'm not mistaken, this is his second year. He was a rookie last year. Um, big, strong guy. There's Aaron Curry. Aaron Curry had a really strong start for the Carp in his first outing. Um, and uh, he was a 500 pitcher last year, but he, he started off the season quite well for the Carp. So I'm interested to see how he does in start number two. Uh, Tatsuhiro Shibata, an infielder with the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. And the next up is Niyuki Uesawa. Niyuki Uesawa. And there again is that interesting light on this card. So I'm kind of curious to see if this is a little bit more special than some of the other ones, if it's uh, got, got a, 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 a different look. And the thing that's neat about these cards, uh, specifically these cards, these cards here, and it definitely is uh, some sort of parallel or insert. These cards, uh, what I like, is that they have a stadium club feel. So those of you who are familiar with top stadium club, that's kind of the feel and the quality of the of the cards. Picture's not always as exciting. Kode Sano, uh, again, for the uh, for the Oryx Buffaloes. And then we have the manager of the Fukuoka SoftBank, Cox, Kimiyasu Kudo. And there's the catcher, rookie catcher for Chiba Lote Marines, uh, Toshia Sa uh, Sato. And uh, then we have Yota Kyoda for the Chunichi Dragons. And uh, rookie card Kota Inoue for the Hanshin Tigers. Hanshin Tiger rookie. Shota Nakayama for the uh, Tokyo Yukult Swallows. And then we're back to the top with the Cebu Lions all over again. So nothing too exciting in that pack, but uh, that is an interesting looking uh, parallel card. So I'm curious to see what they actually call. It's hard to tell. It actually shows up kind of well in the video that you get a, a, a kind of a neat little look. And of course, even off on the side too, it, it gives you a decent, um, a, a decent, uh, a decent look at the card. And so here comes the last. Um, here comes the last one. And uh, we had uh, one of the comments on one of our videos uh, last week was somebody was asking about uh, sending in the uh, Dobayashi card to get it PSA DNA. And ironically, uh, there are there are uh, Japanese cards that are PSA DNA uh, out there. So and graded. Uh, so we have uh, upon hand fighters Haruki Nishikawa, Haruki Nishikawa, and then we have uh, Yoshiaki Watanabe, the Rakuten Eagles, and then uh, for Yamuri Giants we have. Toshiki Sakurai, and that's kind of neat because now you got a background look. I don't like his glove side finish, but he's doing a decent job of getting over his front side. And there's uh, Yasunori Kikuchi, pitcher for the Hiroshima Carp. Uh, he's a big man. Kaida Sano for the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. And there's that, uh, there's that, there's Yuki Nishi. And so Yuki Nishi, opening day. He and the pitcher uh, Daichi um, uh, Oshera, Osera for the uh, Hiroshima Toyo Carp became the first time in NPB history that two pitchers hit uh, home runs on, on opening day, and he was one of them. And uh, he had a big day at the plate. He, uh, I believe he also had a double. He drove in like three runs, two or three runs for the Tigers. Uh, had a great start, but I don't think he got the decision, if I'm not mistaken. T. Okada for the uh, Oryx Buffaloes. Kanishi uh, Akashi for the uh, Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks infielder. Naoya Masuda for the Chibalote Marines. Yuchiro Okano for the uh, Chinichi Dragons. And uh, Tomoya Mori for the uh, Cebu Lions. We got a rookie card of pitcher Koki Sugiyama for the Tokyo Yukult Swallows. And then we're back to the top again uh, from where we started. So today, uh, not a great uh, break, nothing really spectacular. One insert, uh, uh, parallel cards, and in, in looks I think three of the four packs. And so we'll find out a little bit of information on those uh, those uh, those parallel cards and how popular they are. And we'll come back to you on that tomorrow. Well, listen, everybody. I want to take everybody. I want to thank everybody again for watching another last props baseball break if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button i think it's right about here uh and uh if you like the video make sure you hit the like uh, button as well 
And please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, tell us what you like, what you don't like. If you like these cards, or do you like the BBM ones better, um, if you've watched those videos. But uh, this is epic. Uh, and no pun intended. Uh, it is epic. So once again, you've watched another Last Props Baseball video production. Have a great day, everybody.